today is Saturday, October 12th, 2013, and today I am going to be preparing some fresh mustard greens. I got six bunches from um, a local vegetable market, and here I've just been washing them. I've already peeled them, and what I do, I go from one side of the sink to the other, and I actually go through each green. And I actually run from one side of the sink uh, to the other until my water is just clear. Somebody once said, well, darn, you're going to wash the greens off. Well, no, I'm washing dirt off. So when you first do it, that water is real green. Look at it now. It's just about clear. But I'll probably wash it about two more times. But this is how you actually do it. Even when I buy my greens in a bag, I still have to wash them and pick them and go through them and everything. I've actually seen people just open the bag and pour them in and uh, I have to actually go through there and clean it myself. Okay, with my greens, I actually purchased some um, smoked ham hocks. I know you're used to seeing them with a lot of fat. I don't like all that fat. If you can see, it don't even have a lot of skin on it. And I don't even eat the meat. I just use it for seasoning. I'm going to actually boil these with the lid on them for about 30 minutes to an hour until they're tender. Because, I, like I said, I don't eat the meat in the greens. I just like them for flavor. And I normally use um, chicken broth. But this time, because this is salty already and flavorful, I'm not going to use chicken broth. I'm just using water. And I just place a little water in the bottom of the pan. And just basically, I'm going to steam these. And then once that's finished, I'm going to add the greens and my other seasonings. And then I'll come back and show you exactly how I fix my greens. All right. Now, you see how the meat is pulled off of the bone some? They've been cooking for about 30 minutes. They're not completely done, but of course they'll continue cooking while the greens are also cooking. And um, if you notice the liquor, they're not very fat. And if you see it's not a whole lot of fat, I just really don't care for that meat with all that fat on it. And sometimes what I do, I take this, if they're real fat, I'll pull, I, when it comes to ball like this, I'll take the fatty part off. Like, um, that, I'll leave it in there for now, but like I said, I don't eat this. <laughs> it's just for seasoning for me. Um, and then, once it, it, maybe I'll let it cook down, well, let's see. Still a little tough. Let's give it about 10 more minutes. And, um. We'll go ahead and add the greens, and then I'll show you my little twist I have to it, and then we'll let it cook, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's complete. Okay, now, um, they're a little more tender than they were at first. They just were a little too tough earlier. Um, like I said, they are going to still cook along with the greens. At this time, I put in half a white onion. And what I do, I cut up fresh jalapeno peppers in mine, but I remove the roughage and the seeds. That's where all your heat is. So now we have the flavor without the heat. I will add a few crushed red, uh, pep, red pepper to this. And I would actually put more, but um, that's all. I only had one jalapeno pepper, but it, it's going to do what it needs to do. Okay, so now we can add our greens. Hold oh, one moment. Is it like this? Okay, I have six bunches, so they're not going to all fit in the pot at one time, but this will cook down a lot. So I'm going to put the top on there, and this is what you have to do. Just put your top on there cook, until they cook down some, and then just keep adding until you get the, you know, all of them in there. I have a larger pot, but I know they're going to cook down so much that I'm not going to need it. So I'm not going to use that bigger pie. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. And then as they cook down, just continue to add them. And I'll show you in a minute. Now you see how much the greens cook down. This is all six bunches of those greens. All piled to this one pot. Now as it cooks, it's going to actually um, cook down or whatever. There's just so many of them. And as they begin to cook, and they sweat, and they wither, they'll turn colors like that, if you can see it. And then as it does that, I stir it around, we can stir it around, and um, until they're all incorporated into the juice. And then I'll come back and show it to you, and then I'll show you the finished product. But this is how you actually get it started. Um, there's, like I said, it's a lot of them, but they're going to cook down tremendously. Um, and I cook all six bunches. We won't eat that much in one, you know, at one sitting, but 
leftovers, lunch, whatever. That's how we do. So this is actually for Sunday for tomorrow, but I'm going ahead and cooking them now. I wanted to go ahead and get those greens done. Um, I didn't want to keep them out overnight without cooking them, you know, cleaning them and go ahead and getting them cooked. Now what you can do, sometimes I buy up a bunch of greens and like say I don't even want them that day. I cook them, you know, just until they turn I thought I could find some um, called blanching them. I take them and I put them in freezer bags, almost like this. I put them in freezer bags. And uh, I don't like the frozen greens. I bought them before. In fact, I bought them a few months ago, and my mother was telling me she don't like them because she can't help but think that they don't actually take and, and uh, shred those <laughs> bugs up with it. So I, I won't be eating any more of those. But anyway, she was right. So but anyway, I'll come back and show you what the finished product is, but I'm just going to play, you know, um, continue to cook these. They're gonna cook down, and um, if you know anything about mustard greens, they cook way down. So, um, the final product will probably be half this much, honestly. So, I'll come back in when they're done and show you what they look like. This is the peppers and everything. You see, I've been stirring from the bottom, so I'm actually working them on in. So, but I'll give you the finished product. And here are those mustard greens. It's now about 9 o'clock. This is Saturday, October the 12th. And these are actually for dinner, for our Sunday's dinner. Uh, we are in church at 9 a.m. and we're out probably about 12. So I um, just wanted to go ahead. Actually, I'm going to, these probably need to cook about 30 more minutes. And I'm going to actually complete them tomorrow. So, um, but this is. This is the consistency. I like them when I actually go ahead and put them, uh, I let them cool and place them in freezer bags. But when I'm going to do them like that, I don't actually add the meat. I just basically cook the greens down, let them cool, uh, put them in a freezer bag. And then when I come back to cook them, actually cook them like I'm doing tonight, I'll do um, like I did with the ham hocks and the onion and the um, jalapeno pepper and so that's why I haven't put any season in them I'll do that tomorrow when I complete complete uh, the cooking process but I just want to let you know that uh, yes there are some people that still go and buy greens pick them wash them about 20 times like I did today and then cook them this way um, I really like the smoked um, neck bones, but this time I use the ham hocks, and it, like I said, they don't really have a lot of fat on them. So, this is mustard greens, Manny's mom's style. Enjoy your day.